What's up YouTube, Element here. I am finally back from my trips to Portland and GDC, so I apologize for the delay in getting out any of these videos. So in the interest of saving time, I'm just gonna do a quick review for the last two episodes, Double Agent Droid and Twin Sons. So first things first, I don't really have much to say about the first of the two episodes as it seemed apparent from the beginning. It was a small stepping stone in terms of narrative, a semi-filler if you will a means to an end. They were trying to retrieve orbital clearance codes for Lothal, which means this episode was a mere foreshadowing of the coup de grace and the raison de terre of the entire season. The Phoenix Squadron will most likely close the season with a huge assault on Lothal, freeing that planet from Imperial control. But I really hope that the close is much more than that, as we move on to Twin Suns. This was a very nuanced episode filled with subtle hints and brief moments of clarity. I can't hide that I jumped for joy finally seeing Obi-Wan Kenobi in, after so many years in a contemporary Star Wars medium. The voice actor did a phenomenal job in recreating not only Ewan McGregor's Kenobi, but very much adding a layer of Alec Guinness's as well. I also found it hilarious, funny, and brilliant to realize and find out that the writers injected Obi-Wan Kenobi's old, it is the truth from a certain point of view, mentality in this whole episode. We come to the conclusion of Maul's arc and journey as he was more than seeking vengeance for his anger in turmoil with himself, seeking closure as to this feeling in the force that led him to finding Kenobi. It was odd hearing him ask Kenobi whether or not he was protecting the Chosen One, but it led me to believe that Maul had these inklings for a long time and needed to confirm it with not only his most bitter rival, but the closest thing he had had left of a life he had in the past. A remnant, if you will. I didn't expect much from the duel, and it played out the way I had anticipated it to. All the way back to the prequels, Obi-Wan had bested Maul, and if a new hope is evident, we knew that Maul didn't succeed either. But to see him fall before Kenobi in such a way lends credence to the idea that Maul was there for ulterior motives as well. The anticipation of seeing Kenobi the entire episode was enough to get me through it, and the finality and the climax of his reveal was splendid. Rescuing Astromex and Padawans, or future Padawans, seems to be his signature move, and this episode sealed the deal, which is why it also solidifies my belief that I've had ever since I left the theater after watching The Force Awakens. Rey is a Kenobi. Desert, rescuing Astromex and delivering Anakin's lightsaber onto Luke Skywalker. Seems to be a trademark of the Kenobi family at this point. I thought they did a fantastic job in dovetailing Kenobi into the Rebels storyline. They answered a lot of questions while also keeping it very grounded and reined in. There wasn't much to the episode that changed what we know about Kenobi, only that he had dispatched Maul and met Ezra Bridger, another Jedi, before A New Hope. It could change things for the future, and it could affect what is written in his journals as they begin to explore ideas for an Obi-Wan Kenobi solo spin-off film. I mean, the fact that he'd met another Jedi before New Hope kinda changes things a little bit in that, re in that regard, but we'll just have to continue to wait and see. What do you guys think? Was there more to the episode that I missed? Do you think this confirms anything about Kenobi that I didn't touch on? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you beautiful people next time. Till then, may the Force be with you all.